Tumors can be initiated by numerous factors including X-rays, ultraviolet light, DNA alkylating carcinogens, and spontaneous mutations. If the mutation is localized in a gene regulating cell proliferation, cell growth suppression, angiogenesis, immortality, or cellular invasion, there's a possibility that an affected cell could become cancerous. So how can the cell stop this from happening? Cells undergo apoptosis or programmed cell death in response to physiological or pathological conditions such as DNA damage or cell stress. It is an ATP-dependent process which is characterized by fragmentation of the cell and DNA and the presence of porous mitochondria. The enzymes primarily responsible for apoptosis are caspases. This group of proteins are cysteine proteases which trigger a protease activation cascade, ultimately resulting in cytoskeleton cleavage chromatin condensation, and DNA fragmentation. Apoptosis can be initiated through either the extrinsic or intrinsic pathway. DNA damage triggers the intrinsic pathway, which unlike the extrinsic pathway, heavily utilizes the mitochondria. When stimulated by DNA damage, apoptotic signals upregulate the BAD pro-apoptotic protein. BAD binds to the BCL2, an anti-apoptotic protein on the BCL2 BAX complex present in the mitochondrial membrane. The release of BCL2 from the complex results in the formation of a permeability pore in the outer mitochondrial membrane. This causes the release of cytochrome C, SMAC diabolo and endonuclease G. Cytochrome C binds with APAF1, apoptosis protease activating factor 1, a major element of the apoptosome. This binding facilitates the cleavage of procaspase 9 to form initiator caspase 9. Caspase 9 then cleaves procaspase 3 to form effector caspase 3. Caspase 3 cleaves the cytoskeleton and proteins of the nuclear membrane. Endonuclease G, which was also released from the mitochondria, is responsible for facilitating DNA degradation alongside apoptosis inducing factor. SMAC Diablo is in charge of inhibiting inhibitors of apoptosis proteins, or IAPs, which in turn inhibit caspase activation. These three released factors are primarily responsible for intrinsic pathway mediated apoptosis. While the intrinsic pathway is able to prevent cells with potentially carcinogenic mutations from surviving, components of the intrinsic pathway are also commonly mutated in cancer. These include mutations which result in the overexpression of anti apoptotic BCL2, downregulation or inactivation of anti apoptotic BACs, decreased or absence of APAF1 or caspase inactivating mutations. Activation of apoptosis in cancerous cells is an ideal therapeutic goal in treating cancer. Some proposed therapies include inactivation of anti-apoptotic proteins such as BCL2 through siRNA or restoration of pro-apoptotic proteins through gene therapy.